Hello again. We're at the quarter-final stage here on Only Connect, which means our teams have already demonstrated their ability to unearth connections where none seems to exist. But the heats were easy. These are the far more treacherous quarter-finals, where it's my job to lure the tugboat of confidence onto the jagged rocks of despair. My specialty. Eager to sail to their doom, we've got two returning teams, the bankers and the IT supporters. Let's say hello first to the captain of the bankers. My name's David and I work for a bank in rural Leicestershire. And this is Rosemary. I'm Rosemary Redhead. I work for the same bank in Leicestershire where I look after the mortgage systems. And this is Michael. I'm Michael. I also work for the same bank in Leicestershire as a business analyst. Now, banking used to be thought of as a very solid, safe profession. Bit more of a bumpy ride lately, more edgy. Is it good practice for a high-pressure quiz? Yes. I thought it might be. <laughs> Let's move over and meet the captain of the IT supporters. I'm David Harper. I live in East London and I work in market research. And this is Morag. Hello, I'm Morag Trainer and I live in East London as well and I teach Scottish Gaelic in London. And this is Robin. I'm Robin Baker. I'm a software engineer and I live in Hackney. Now tell me this, IT supporters. Do you think the internet has made us more knowledgeable or less? Uh, I think I think the knowledge is possibly a bit shallower, but more widespread. But if you really want to check something, there's always Encyclopedia Britannica. But I think things like Wikipedia are good for checking quick facts that aren't too controversial fairly easily. Well, what we want to do is test how deep your knowledge is. So let's play the quiz. In round one, I simply asked the teams to tell me what is the connection between four clues. But the fewer clues you see before telling me the right answer, the more points you get. Five, three, two and one, those are the points available. And I believe the bank has won the toss, but you elected to put the IT supporters in first. So if you'd like to look down and select a Greek letter. Uh, epsilon, please. Epsilon, the first clue is coming up. Time starts now. Next, please. Ships or something. Ships. Mm -hmm. right, okay, next, please. Britannic. Right. What's Britannic? As a ship, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Are they all ships? Is it as straightforward as that? Sounds a bit too easy, yeah, doesn't it? Does it? Uh, all ships in World War Two. Is the City of Paris a ship? Should we go next? Yeah. Never heard next, of please. Ship. You've got ten seconds. Oh, well, that's a line. Oh, do they win the blue ribbon? Oh, that's a good... That's a good yeah, Three seconds. Are they all ships that won the Blue Ribbon? That's right, they won the Blue Ribbon for having the record for the fastest oh. transatlantic crossing. Well done, we'll go over well to the bankers <laughs> to pick your own Greek letter. Gamma, please. Gamma, first clue coming up. Time starts now. He's a goalkeeper. <laughs> singer. Singer. He's got a son that's a singer. Yes. Uh, next, please. So I think he got some kind of sport as well. He was a goalkeeper, was he? Oh, was he? Right. Should we go for goalkeepers? Yeah. We think they were all goalkeepers. If you'd seen all the clues, who do you think you might have seen coming up? There's Albert Camus. The third clue would have to have been Albert Camus, and the fourth clue would have been Pope John Paul II. They are all former goalkeepers. So. IT supporters. Alpha, please. Alpha, first clue coming up. I can tell you that this is going to be a music question. Right. Time starts now. Any idea what this is? 18th century. Yeah, it's it's quite quite OK, next, please. Is that right? Next, please. Next, please. Ten seconds. That's, um, um, Vaughan Williams, Lark Ascending, isn't Lark it? Lark Ascending. Oh, we've got Vaughan in them, do you reckon? Ah. Uh, is, there a, is there a connection with Vaughan in all of the excerpts in terms of the names of the performers? I don't believe that there is. OK. So I'm going to go over to the bankers to see if they can get a bonus point. We think it's to do with birds. 
Unfortunately for you, at the quarterfinal stage, I'm strict, I'm nasty, Ooh. I'm exact. Oh, Not just birds. Lance. You heard Haydn's Lark Quartet. Uh, uh, Alouette, the old French rhyme, uh, Lark. It was Hoagie Carmichael's Skylark. Uh, and, of course, as you heard, Vaughan Williams' Lark Ascending. All to do with larks. Uh, Bankers, pick your own letter. Delta, please. Delta. First clue coming up. Time starts now. Next, please. Uh, Bristol fashion. Bristol. Tip top and Bristol fashion. Bristol. Next. Next, please. A prefix by the letter A. I cannot accept your answer. Yeah, ID supporters, I can show you the final clue before you get your possible bonus chance. Yay. Yeah. It's got to be yeah. A1. That is absolutely right. The A1 ring is Austria's Formula One circuit. Top condition for ships. Where would A1 be listed there? A1 Lloyds. Lloyd's. In the Lloyds Register, A1 paper, and the A1 road, London to Edinburgh. So, bonus point. To the IT supporters, pick your own letter. Uh, Zeta, please. Zeta, first clue coming up. Time starts now. Oh, Next, please. Oh, yes, 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 that's the connection. Is it? Yeah, go, go one more just in case. No, it's no do you reckon you should go for it? Just go for it. Yeah. Okay. Should we go for it? I think it's some more. Oh, right. Should we, go, should we just go for it? Or do you reckon we should go? Give it well. Yeah. We think it's Savoy. Why do you think it's Savoy? Uh, I would imagine the last Royal House of Italy... They is, were called Savoy. ..is the name called Savoy. And it's there is a connection with Duke Gilbert and Sullivan. It's a Savoy Opera. The Savoy Opera Company, I'm reliably informed by... Gilbert my... and Sullivan operettas were produced at the Savoy Theatre and known as Savoy Operas. Very impressive. Three points for getting it after two clues. You would have had Savoy Cabbage mm. and, of course, the Savoy Hotel itself in the Strand. Very well good. Yeah, well done. Bankers, not much of a choice available. Uh, beta, please. You may have beta. This is going to be the picture round. Time starts now. Yes, Next, yes, please. Yes. Is it hurdy gurdy? Walkie talkie hurdy gurdy. Or rhyming. The yeah. second letter or whatever it rhymes with the first. Yeah. Do you want to go for it? Yeah, yes, I would. Yeah. We think that they're all objects that have two words that rhyme. So the first is walkie-talkie and the second is hurdy-gurdy. Absolutely correct. Three points to you. You would have seen a helter-skelter and a lovely blackjack if you'd pressed on, but you didn't need to. Very good. Good round for both teams. Looking at the scores at the end of round one, the IT supporters have got five points, but the bankers have got six points. <laughs> In round two, there are still four clues and there is still a connection, but this time I want the teams to tell me what is fourth in the sequence. Again, the points decrease the more clues they see. IT supporters, select a letter, please. Uh, epsilon, please. Epsilon, first in a sequence coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. Next, mm. please. Children's writers. Are they in any order? Yeah, go. Next, next please. Uh, oh, they could. Oh, I don't know. They're German not... monarchs. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. oh they're the kids in, in um, Sound of oh, Music. Oh, God, yeah, they are, aren't they? They're the children in the Sound of Music. Yeah, but what on earth? Ten seconds. Um, what, just think of your name. What is her name? Oh, God. God. Is there a Lisa? <laughs> Three seconds. Lisa. I'm afraid that's not the answer I'm looking for. Over to the bankers for a possible bonus. We think it's Liesel. Liesel is the answer. She is the oldest. Oldest child. The children in The Sound of Music in ascending age. Uh, Lisa not quite close enough. Liesel, who's 16 Liesel. going on 17. 17 oh, right, okay. Although Charmian Carr, who played her in the film, famously was about 50 or something yeah. when they made that. Bonus point to the bankers. Pick your own letter. Zeta, please. 
Zeta, your first clue's coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. Near five towns. It could be. Could be. Let's have another Should one. Have a... uh, next, please. No. no. Uh, next, please. Are there train stations on? Ten seconds. And the last one, please. I'm afraid you have to tell me the last one, um, and you've got five seconds to do it. Grand Central. It is not Grand Central. I can throw it over for a possible bonus. Um, Boston or Cambridge. You no. can't debate for ages, okay, well, Providence. That is not the answer either. According to the US Senate, these are the last four capitals of the United States and the most recent, of course, the current one, Washington, D.C. So no points there. IT supporters, pick a letter. Alpha, please. Alpha, first in the sequence coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. Next, please. Oh, oh right. what's all this about? It's black special. I don't know. Drink. Bit of a what? Drink. Don't know. Yes. Next, please. Hang on. <laughs> that, that might be might be beer, because amber's a. Oh yeah. But what? I don't really know what this is about. Has anyone got a clue? No. No, I'm afraid not. We really just have to make up some rubbish yeah. marks, I think. Um, sorry? Red, red label? Yeah, we're not special. We're not special, Five seconds. Oh. Red I'm looking label. forward to this. Red label. Red label. A nice guess. That's not the answer I'm looking for. Would you like to have a go, bankers? We think it might be red. Why would it be red? We think they might be flags in motor racing. Well, I'm going to have to give you the point because the answer is red. They are alert states for British Ministry of Defence sites oh. when they could be under terrorist yeah. threat, known as bikini oh, alert states. For no reason, interestingly. The word bikini was just picked at random out of a dictionary, but the highest state is red alert and the lowest is white. So, a bonus point for the bankers, even though they didn't know the reason why. Pick your own letter. Delta, please. Delta, first in the sequence coming up. Time starts now. It's got to be a name, but I don't know who it is. <laughs> Next, please. Playwright. What else? It won some prize or other, I don't know what. It's a uh, happy thing. Well, it's plays, but, um, Next, please. Ten seconds. It's, it's a play right and I think. John Osborne. That is not the answer I'm looking for, so I'm going to yeah, throw it over. Uh, Vaslav Havel. <laughs> no. Why would you say Vaslav Havel? I don't know, just a respectable foreign playwright. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were thinking prize winners, literary prize winners, but couldn't think which prize. They are winners of THE literary prize, mm. the Nobel Prize for Literature, uh, from oh. 2004 to 2007, uh, when it was uh, won uh, by uh, Doris Lessing. So, IT supporters, please pick a letter. Gamma, please. Gamma, first in the sequence coming up. This is going to be a picture round. Time starts now. Yeah, it is. Yes. Yeah, it's, I think we'll need to see at least. Yeah. Next, please. Yeah, that's, we knew that, that's, yeah. Oh, it's total. Oh. So next, it's please. something. Can you get it all shut in next? Gonna have to. Next, please. Yeah, What's that's that? the. You're under 10 what seconds. Is, what is, what is, that? It? is it foot of something? Um, Five seconds. Lizard. 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 Not the answer, I'm afraid, and you uh, knew it wasn't. I could tell from yeah. the way you said it. I shall throw it over. Possible bonus? I think it's Owlet's Wing. Wouldn't it be lovely? Why do you think it would be Owlet's Wing? From the uh, ingredients of the witch's cauldron in the Scottish play. <laughs> <laughs> the curse in the Scottish play, yes. by which we mean Macbeth. Now we just have to get to the end of the quiz before a terrible fate befalls us all goes. Eye of Newt, Toe of Frog, 
wool of bat and tongue of dog. Mm. Tongue of dog is what completes the spell. Bankers, let's hope we're not too cursed to continue. Take a letter, please. B, sir, please. Good choice. First in a sequence coming up. Time starts now. Next. Next, please. Next, please. Oh, 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 it's oh, the yes. things on the spare plinth that draw right, the spare. What's the, like, what's the next one? What went on there? Was it the upside down, the inverse? What called what? Ten seconds. Oh, it's plinth, I don't know what it's called. Five seconds. I don't can't remember what it is. Just going for the description. No guess put forward, so, IT supporters, do you want to have a go? Uh, we're going to say nothing. Yes, on Margate Sands, I can connect nothing with nothing. The answer is not nothing. Do, why well, do you say that? Well, or, or empty plinth. Well, we, we think they're the things that are on the fourth plinth in Trafalgar Square in reverse order. That's correct, but after Alison Lapper pregnant, they put up Thomas Shute's model for a hotel. Oh, which oh, is oh, that one. Model oh, right. for the birds, <laughs> now renamed. Model for a hotel. So, where does that leave the scores? At the end of round two, the IT supporters have got five points and the bankers have got eight points. In round three, the teams face the character-building challenge of the connecting wall. You'll remember this horror, 16 clues that can be divided into four groups of four. There are some connections that cover several clues, but only one perfect solution. In your heat, I think you solved the wall with two seconds to spare. And that was an easy one. Time for the quarter-final horror. Good luck. Please choose wall alpha or beta. Alpha, please. Alpha, your clues are coming up. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it. That time starts now. Garibaldi biscuits. Bourbon biscuits. Lincoln biscuits. Bourbon Orange biscuits. biscuits. Windsor biscuits. Mm. Abernathy certainly biscuit. Let's try, Angus, the biscuits, Let's try the biscuits. Let's try the biscuits. Get them out of the way. Lincoln. Gary Baldy. Gary Baldy. Bourbon. Mm -hmm. House of Bourbon. Abernathy. Abernathy? Go on. That's a group. Well done. Uh, Royal Houses. Uh, Windsor. Baldy. Baldy. There's, uh, Royal Castles. Monaco, isn't it? Palmer. Glams. Windsor. The castles. Windsor Castle. Glamis, yeah. Glams. And. Palmer. Angus Costa. Lockett. Inverary. Give, give Inverary a go. No. no. Not a group. House of Orange, House of Windsor, House of Grimaldi. Yeah. Yes. House of Bernadotte. Yes. <laughs> Glams, no. Urquhart. Let's try one, because we've got time on this one. Try Bernadotte, then. No. no. Not a group. Try no. those. Try those again, then. Urquhart. Costa, Orwell. I'm going to try glands. Right. We're about halfway through the time now. Oh, well. Rivers. Inverary. Yes, oh, well. well. Orange River in yes. South Africa. And. Oh, well. Costas Glams. River Angus. Glams is a river. Just try one. Right. Come on, I've got to get this now. Do the Royal Families again. Grimaldi, Windsor. Orange. Orange. Angus, Inverary. Urquhart. No. That's not a group. One, two, three. Well, Costa. Costa. No. And we're going to have to move on very quickly. Yeah, Belgium. Chocolate. Costa coffee. And, uh... Might be time to just start prodding. Yes. Go on. Belmore, mm. Windsor. Glams Castle. Glams. Inverary Castle. Castle. Yeah. yeah. No. Your time is up. Unlucky. But you did get one group, so that's one point. And there are bonus points available if you can tell me the connection. So the group you got, Bourbon, Garibaldi, Lincoln, Abernethy. Biscuits. They're all biscuits for one bonus point. 
Let's resolve the grid. There it is. Those are the groups you should have got. Let's go for the bonuses. Second group, Angus, Costa, Orwell, Orange. Rivers. They are not rivers. They are literary prizes. Mm. Angus Award for oh. Teenage Fiction, Costa Book Awards, formerly yes. the Whitbreads, Orwell Prize for Political Writing and the mm -hmm. Orange Prize for Women's Writing. Next group, Belgium, Grimaldi, Windsor, Bernadotte. We think of royal houses. Yes, they are. And Bernadotte? It's, a it's, it's the Royal House of Sweden. Sweden. Last group, Glam's Urquhart, Balmoral, Inverary. Scottish Castles. castles. They're Scottish castles. Mm. So one point for the group you got, three bonus points for connections. You get a total of four points. Let's see if the IT supporters can top that score. They're going to get a whole new wall, 16 fresh clues. You remember how this works from your heat. You must sort them into four groups of four. I believe you solved the wall in your heat in under a minute. But these quarterfinal grids are much trickier. And you're going to get the beta wall. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it. Your time starts now. What have we got? Okay. Is this a C? Baltic Sea, Weddell Sea, Ross Sea, and any other seas? Oh, I can see Arctic Explorer, Shackleton, Scott. Fuchs, is he an Arctic Yellow, Explorer? Yellow, Ross, mm. Baltic, Weddell. OK. Yellow, Ross, Baltic, Weddell. Right, now let's see if time to take off Baltic. What's Solomon, is that C? Oh, I don't know. Yellow. Yellow, oh. Ross. Was it Weddell? Is that what yes. it was last time? Right. Is the peace markers? Not a group. All oh, right. Do... OK, help me out, do the five. I can't find a fifth one for a C. Let's do another. All right, yeah. let's, do, let's do explore. OK, we've got Chekhov, Kirk, McCoy... Oh, um, uh, yeah. And Scott. OK, I'll take off Sulu. Scott. Yes. That's a group. Right. OK, uh, what have we got? Right. Oh, Just maybe to... Sulu's a C. Shackleton... Is Shackleton a C? Shackleton's a... Well, well he's, he's an explorer, explorer, I know. Yeah. Shackleton, oh. Foosh... Um, Ross Weddle, possibly. Yeah. That's oh, group. That. Now, with only two groups left, yes. three yeah. strikes and you're out. <clears throat> right. So what, right. what have we actually Press got here? Yeah. Um, Quick worth of, like an art museum, isn't it? Um, There's Baltic Exchange, but I can't see um, any financial stuff. I can't see where Sulin goes. It's not, a, it's not the same Christian yeah. name, same surname or something, is it? Oh, um, Sulu? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not um, sure. Um, mm. Mm. Ooh, this is nasty. I'm just not getting anything here. Really. No. Solomon Islands. Ah. Oh. Ooh. Uh, Solomon Islands. I quite okay. fancy. I quite fancy for going. Islands. Solomon. Not a group, so just two Ooh. attempts left. Hmm. Yellow's a river. Yellow river. But I can't, a walker might be a river, I suppose. We've got about oh, ten yeah, seconds. Yeah. Let's go for it. <laughs> Not a group. One oh, no. more attempt. We are running out of time. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Solving the wall with just seconds to spare. Fantastic stuff, so four full points. Let's see if you can get the bonuses. Can you tell me the connection in that first group? Chekhov, Kirk, McCoy, Scott. Star Trek. Uh, Star Trek. Crew they members. were characters in the original. Star Trek, Pavel, Chekhov, Captain Kirk, of course, McCoy and Scotty. Right. Be Next group, here. Ross, Shackleton, Waddell, Fuchs. Oh, and Shackleton was Antarctic. Antarctic explorers. They were <laughs> Antarctic <laughs> explorers. That's right, James now. Ross, Ernest Shackleton. James Waddell and Sir Vivian Fox. I've been to Antarctica. Have you? I saw um, a lot of penguins and lost no toes at all. Okay. I consider a successful trip. <laughs> so right. the third group, right. Sulu, Yellow, Bismarck, Solomon. They're all, they're all island, group, island groups. That is not the correct answer. They are seas in the Pacific Ocean. <sighs> mm. Final group, Dean, Walker, Baltic, Whitworth. I don't know, they're um, curators of uh, people who founded museums. That's not correct. They are themselves galleries, art galleries in the UK. Oh. 
the yeah, Dean fair. Gallery in Edinburgh, the Walker in Liverpool, the Baltic Centre in Gateshead and the Whitworth in mm. Manchester. But you got four points for the groups, two bonus points for the connections. It's a total of six points. All right, all right. Let's see how that leaves the overall scores at the end of round three. The IT supporters have got 11 points and the bankers have got 12 points. So it's very close as we go into round four, where a lot of points are available. This is the missing vowels round, where we take groups of well-known names or phrases, theme them in little batches of four, and take out the vowels. Then we re-space the consonants, and you teams have to tell me what the names and phrases are. One point for each answer you get correct, but if you buzz in and give me a wrong answer, you will lose a point, and I'll throw it over for a bonus. This is a crucial round in determining who makes the semi-final. Good luck. Fingers on buzzers. I can tell you that the first group are all people who were beheaded. Bankers. Anne Boleyn. Correct. One point. IT. Mary Antoinette. Yes, one point. You're taking too long. It's Sir Thomas More. Next clue. IT. Edward Plantagenet. Yes, one point. The next group, John Dunn Quotations. Bankers. For whom the bell tolls. One point to you. Bankers. No man is an island unti entire unto himself. I must deduct a point for an incorrect answer. IT, a bonus. No man is an island entire unto itself. No, I'm afraid that's not correct. No man is an island entire of itself. Next clue. Too long. It's the famous line about his wife, John Dunn, and Dunn undone. The next group all are terms from glacial geography. Bankers. Arctic. No, it isn't. You lose a point, IT. Too long, the answer's erratic. Next clue. Bankers. Medial moraine. Yes, one point. Well, the time is up, and that rapid gaining and losing of points from you, bankers, mean that it's a tie break. 13 oh points each. This is horrible. Captains, I want your fingers on the buzzers. There is going to be one <coughs> more name or phrase. I will not tell you the theme. If you buzz in and tell me the answer correctly, you win the quiz for your team. Give me a wrong answer, you immediately forfeit the quiz to the other team. Your clue is coming up now. Bankers. Vini, vidi, viki. I came, I saw, I conquered. With that, you win the quiz for your team. Many congratulations to the bankers. Good luck in the semi. Hard luck to the IT supporters. There'll be more high-wire mind games next time in our last quarter-final. Join us then. Goodbye. And there's more from Victoria and Only Connect at the same time next Monday. Coming up tonight, coming back from the brink of oblivion, how will they cope with their second chance? It's Department Store. Next.